hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of painted metal texture in the blender with the help of the node setup so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and this material we are gonna make it totally with the help of the procedure material so make sure you watch the tutorial till end and here you can see guys that looks something like that so now let's start the tutorial so first of all i just want to open a new project file i'm just going to open a new project file pressing the new button and then so now we have a new project file so i just want to rid of this cube pressing the delete then i'm just going to add one monkey head pressing the shift a and going to add the monkey head and then i'm just going to subdivide this monkey pressing the control 2 and here i'm just going to add the shade smooth as well so we can see the much smoother monkey head here and that's look fine and after that i just want to switch my shading panel from here to here and here i'm just gonna add one material it's called basically principal bsdf that is the base material and after that we'll just add one node it's called basically a color ramp i just want to add one color ramp and here i'm just going to define the two base color here so i just want to define one color it's a red color totally red and second one will be a little grayish something like that and that's look fine and from here i'm just going to change as a ease and from here i'm just going to close those slider something like that okay and after that i just going to plug this color into a color so right now we can see something like that but we have to add some extra node create that kind of effect which is we want basically so i'm just going to add one mix rgv shader here and i'm just going to plug in between here and after that i will add one uh, ambient occlusion node which is so important to create that kind of texture basically so i just gonna place it here and then i'm just gonna plug this color into a color and from here i just want to increase this fsc value to one and make sure you just increase the sample value which is give you a good uh, render result basically so i'm just gonna set is above 30 so you can take a 36 i think that look fine to me okay so right now we can't get that effect which is we want so we have to add some extra node also so i'm just gonna add one uh Warnoy texture here and i'm just gonna plug this color into uh fac so we'll see something like that okay and that's look and that's look little close whatever we want then we have to just uh, add one more node it's called basically a geometry node so i'm just gonna add a geometry node here and I'm just gonna add this pointless node into our vector. Right now we can't see any changing happening here. So for that what you have to do, you have to just switch your rendering mode and then you have to just change your uh, render engine as a cycle, which is so important, okay? If you not change your render mode uh, as a cycle, you will not see that effect basically. That's only work on in a cycle. And from here, I just want to enable my SDRI so we can easily see what's going on here. So right now, we can't see anything, by the way. Okay, there is nothing to show here. So what we have to do for that, we have to just increase our scale value from here to here. So now we can see some thing happening in our viewport. So we can take uh, 3.6. I think that's look fine. Here you can see that's look great okay but so right now here you can see that texture is look a little matte so we have to increase our metallic value 0 to 1 so we'll see something like that and now it's look a little metallic and that's so great i think one more thing we have to do we have to just press the control b and we have to just define the our uh, render view yeah something like that i think that's look fine okay so now here you can see we have uh, that kind of effect is happening here and from here we can change the value how much red we want how much white we want okay from here you can define it and if you want to control that roughness so what we have to do you have to just add one more node it's called color ramp and then you have to just plug this color ramp with our uh, roughness value and now you have to just plug this pointless with the fac so now from here you can control that roughness of this monkey head so here you can see i think that's look fine yeah i think that's look fine it's feel like a metallic okay and one more thing we have to do it here so what we have to do so everything look fine to me but we can't see any kind of bump i can't see any kind of exaggeration in our model so for that what we have to do we have to just add one more node it's called bump node so i'm just gonna add one bump node here and i'm just gonna plug uh, this color with the height and this normal with the normal so we can see now bump in our object our material that's look fine by the way so from here you can define the strength basically how much strength you want so i think one it's look fine to me 
and let's take one render and let's see how it looks like basically so I'm just gonna take one render pressing the F12 so here you can see guys that's look fine and that's how you can create that kind of painted metal texture which is super cool and uh, that is very super easy trick so I thought I should share with you so I hope you like this trick and you will use in your project okay there are very simple node setup which is I've uh, shown you here okay you don't need more uh, nodes for create that kind of painted kind of texture basically okay and that is totally procedure you can use in any object okay whatever object you have whatever model you have you can use it very easily okay so that's it for this tutorial guys and thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have the session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys